It's only been a week The rush of being home and rapid fading Failing to recall What I was missing all that time in England I sent me aimlessly On foot or by the help of transportation To knock on windows where a friend no longer live, I have forgotten And everywhere I go There's always something to remind me Of another place in time
Now, around two years ago, me and my brother Elliot decided to review one of the worst games ever possibly produced, Big Rigs Over the Road Racing. In the end, we roasted that CD and cooked hot dogs over its fiery corpse. Unfortunately, that review was taken down. It was originally created as a tribute to Alex Navarro's review of the game on GameSpot, but because of copyright claims, the video eventually became blocked. And since I no longer have the original video file, it's just another victim to the flow of time. And a corrupted hard drive. Though the CD has been torched, the software still lingers in my laptop's hard drive like a homeless bum waiting to get kicked out of a convenience store. So let's get this bastard out of my house once and for all. This is my review of Big Rigs Over the Road Racing. Nuts without me, you're nuts. <laughs> Doing here. Dude, we burned big bricks together the first time. I'm not gonna miss this chance to waste my time and review this. Your Enough about that, let's get on with this. Around the year 2000, a company named Stellar Stone released a game called Taxi Racer. Never heard of it? Neither have I, but from the YouTube footage I've seen, it's probably something you shouldn't even torrent. Now from what I've researched, and by that I mean glancing at its Wikipedia page, Stellar Stone was a company primarily stationed in Santa Monica, California, but its developers were stationed in Russia and the Ukraine, which apparently allowed them to create games for incredibly low budgets of around $15,000. The effort shows. With such an affordable budget, Stellar Stone would later produce some Civil War games that were also, from what I could tell, entirely forgettable and just all around bad games. Now I wanted to take the hint, Stellar Stone decided to give the whole video game thing another world by producing Big Rigs Over the Road Racing, a racing game that lets you control over 18 wheels of thunder as you deliver illegal cargo to your destination, all while avoiding the police as they attempt to stop your progression. LIES! FUCKING LIES! Yes, John! Relax, the game hasn't even started yet! Well, let's take a look. Here's the menu. Yeah, we don't even get any sort of trademark, fine print, or an opening introduction, we just go straight to the menu. By choosing custom race, we can select one of four trucks. Thunderbolt, Mega One, and oh god, really, who gives a fuck? It's all cosmetic anyway, because every single truck controls exactly the same. Taking a note from Sonic R, we can select up to five different tracks. First, we have the Devil's Passage, which is bleak, lifeless, and it lacks any sort of atmosphere to get you in the mood to race. Then there's Devil's Passage 2, which is just like the first Devil's Passage, only in the dark! <gasps> this game has balls! Next up is the Forgotten Road 1. There's no Forgotten Road 2, so what's with the number? Anyway, it's boring. Yeah, so the name fits. After that, we have Night Ride, which, oh look at that, it causes the game to crash. Well then, on to the last stage, Small Town Road, which- Oh, for God's sakes, why are we even wasting our time? Each and every single stage in this game is absolute shit from an aesthetical viewpoint. The graphics are horrible, the textures are bleak, it's just not pretty to look at. But if that wasn't enough, the entire game itself is the poster boy for incomplete games. Elliot mentioned earlier that your objective is to deliver cargo to your destination while racing your opponent and avoiding police. Well, there is no cargo. There is no police. And there's certainly no opponent to race. Oh, your opponent is certainly there, but because there's absolutely, positively, no programming in this game, he will never actually move. So without a moving opponent, that means there's no fucking race! So the entire concept of the game is completely shot in the ass! So without racing, then what exactly are we doing in this game? Nothing. Just nothing. Use the arrow keys to move, and with it you can show off just how incredible your big rig is. Not only is the truck not affected by any sort of terrain, no matter how steep, it can also pass through fucking objects. Obstacles? Not a problem. Just watch as your truck pass through everything like an unwanted kidney stone. Bridges? Pfft, fuck that. We're gonna go under that bitch and show just how badass your truck is. Shit, why stop at bridges? Who needs the map? Your truck is also the pinnacle of interdimensional travel. Just keep going in one direction and you'll eventually travel out of the game's boundary, an endless void of nothingness that x step himself will call PARADISE! And just to seal the deal, in case those features didn't make you want to buy the game yet, your truck can also reach speeds transcending the speed of light while in reverse! Yeah, just hold down that down arrow key and watch your truck blast off at a speed previously thought unimaginable. But hey, if you think you're traveling too fast, just let go of that down arrow and the truck will come to an immediate halt. I won't even begin to think what would happen to the truck driver under that circumstance, but who cares, it's a truck, that's awesome! In fact, your truck is so badass, you can sometimes win the race before it even begins! You're a winner! Yeah, you are a winner indeed! Look at that, the map didn't even load completely! How could the developers possibly think it was okay to release? And yes, I said developers. Could you actually believe that more than one person worked on this game? And even then, costing money to produce? I'm not exactly sure how much this game cost when it was initially released, but anything more than zero dollars is a ripoff to the most extreme degree. I got this game at a vintage store for about two bucks. But nowadays you can go on Amazon and eBay and the game reaches prices of over fifty dollars. 
Fifty dollars? Really? Superman 64 doesn't even reach those prices nowadays, and it's miles better than this game. How's that phone, by the way? Just for a little clarification, I am aware that Stellar Stone released a patch that meant to fix the game up, but if it's not a patch that deletes the game from my hard drive, it isn't freaking worth it. The patch supposedly makes your opponent actually move and race and allows you to pick the fourth racetrack without causing the game to crash. Problem is, it doesn't fucking work. At least, not on my computer. My opponent still doesn't move, and choosing the fourth track still causes the game to crash. Even then, I heard that even with the patch working correctly, the opponent still comes to a complete halt before crossing the finish line, and the fourth track is simply a mirrored version of Devil's Passage, because we could always use a third Devil's Passage. And if you're wondering why there's absolutely no sound other than our voices, it's because this game has no sound. Period. No sound effects, no background music, nothing. There's nothing! Big Rigs Over the Road Racing is often considered to be one of the worst games of all time, but looking back, can it even be considered a game? I find it more appalling that this piece of shit actually was given the green light and cost money to play. I mean, it was 2003, we already got games like Mario Kart Double Dash and F-Zero GX. I mean, what, would the de what did the developers think when they were releasing this game? Why did they think it was okay to th that uh, it was considered playable? It raised my mind trying to find an answer, but I think we wasted enough time with this game already. Don't buy Big Rigs Over the Road Racing. Fuck it, don't even download the damn game. It's not worth your time, effort, or money. We're not going to give it a score. It doesn't deserve one. Superman 64 is a much better game than Big Rigs Over the Road Racing, and that's saying a hell of a lot. With that said, Elliot, would you care to do the honors? With pleasure. This game has balls. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. I wasn't feeling the balls. <laughs> you had to have really strong, plentiful balls. Okay, right.